to Anderton's TV. I've got Nate Notes with me today. It's the first time we've met, nice to meet you but I feel a kindred spirit already. 100%. Um, I've got some really, really cool news. So earlier in the year, Pete and I got sent one of these. It's a Headrush Prime. And um, <laughs> <laughs> we did the demo of it, I think, surprisingly well, given that Headrush didn't really <laughs> tell us much about it or have any member of staff available to tell us much about it. And I've been talking to Headrush for the last six months or so saying, I really wish you could get us a demonstrator to sort of show off some of the functionality mm -hmm. that we didn't really understand, especially around the vocal side of things. But anyway, we had a, what, what was good about that first video, I think, is it really showed off how intuitive uh, the operating system is on, yeah. on Headrush because literally Pete and I did just work out like 90% of it <laughs> by just pressing buttons and seeing what happened. But the cool thing now is Headrush have a, um, another addition to the... In fact, there's two cool things. We have a, a new addition to the, to the family here called Core, mm -hmm. which is a, which is a cut-down version of Prime, but only cut down in terms of size and switches and stuff. It's the same exactly. uh, product. Um, we've got a new operating system running on this. We've got 3.1.1, which um, should be available by the time this video comes out, and if it isn't, any time now. So if you've got a Prime... You can go and download that for it mm -hmm. too. And Nate has brought his friend Elise along, uh, who's going to do some singing and show us the vocal side of things. But yeah, do you want to just tell us a bit about yourself and what it was that you know drew you to using um, the Headrush product and and kind of like you know the, the sort of just day to day work that you do and where you use this? Yeah. So what up, people? <laughs> I am a producer, session musician. I do a lot of touring and. Sometimes, you know, you get sent a record and you've got to learn it live and you've got to be able to re replicate sounds that a producer has had lots of effects to put on it. So this is wicked because it gives you a lot of sort of tonal options to sort of sculpt your sounds a bit more. And it's like Lee said, it's super easy to use. So that's probably my, you can see there's a ton of functionality within, within this whole operating system. And it's going to, it's by a mile the most feature rich of all of these types of floorboard things. I get that, you know, it's going to be completely subjective as to mm -hmm. what sounds best, you know, and Quad Cortex and Helix and, and Kemper and Fractal and all that kind of stuff, great products. Um, but nothing does as much as Head Rush. So, what blew us away when we were first playing around with this is. I think it's got the most intuitive way of laying out a pedal board. Yeah, I think, I think, you know, the ecosystem that in music have across all their products, they're able to bring the best of everything mm -hmm. in. So, you know. If people aren't familiar with in music, that's the, that's the company brands, that owns yeah. brands like Akai, yeah. um, Antares. They own Rain for DJ stuff, then on um, Elisis and M Audio. So, Massive company and Headrush and, is their oh, sort of just recently Moog. Yes, exciting. So and Headrush is their sort of guitar effects division. Um, but yeah, what what blew us away on this was the uh, 
the way in which you could load in audio files and manipulate them to help with practicing, so slowing them down, changing pitch, all that kind of stuff. Um, the, it does have AMP uh, modeling, they call it cloning, so mm -hmm. much like, you know, like a, a Kemper profile or a, or, a, or a QC capture, it's that kind of process. Had all the vocal effects in it, which was mad. I kind of, what I wanted to do today was a sort of a light touch on putting a guitar rig together, because we yeah. covered all that in Prime but really focus on this concept with either of these products that you could, if you were a solo or duo um, singer, guitar player, you could have all your backing tracks on uh, a USB stick or, or, or even... Yeah, go on, you do it. This is mad, isn't it? As long as the venue's got Wi-Fi, you can do it via Dropbox, which is yeah. wicked. It so is you mad. Just, you log into your account and you can just go in <laughs> and just put your set list in. Yeah. So if you need 10,000 tracks and a USB stick's not enough, you could literally do it all from Dropbox, which is nuts. Yeah. So basically, guitarists, we're now becoming like DJs. So you've got to make sure you've got all your sets on yeah. your sticks. That's it. So you, guitar and this, turn up to the venue. All your backing tracks are, pre, are on your, the USB stick, so you can load them into here. Uh, you've then got all your guitar sounds are in here as well. And all your vocal effects are not just auto-tune, a whole suite of vocal effects that yeah. hopefully we'll demo with the least. Stuff. But let's just very, very quickly um, talk about this sort of concept of the rig. Um, you've set this up so that the two outside buttons here scroll up and down through your yeah. preset rigs. So basically, if you hold number two, which is here, you go to modes, and then you've got a load of different modes. So yeah. for me, I kind of like the thing of being able to go up and down. So when I make a, when I am doing a set for an artist, I will have each song will be its own sort of page and then yeah. I can add stuff in and then go up and down. So I kind of use the uh, hybrid mode it's called, but you could have it so if you go to stomp and each button will just turn on the different stomps yeah. that you can sign and then you just press this button up here and then if I want that to be there, so you can kind of set it up to do whatever you think. These are your five yeah. pedals there. I, I suppose that's one, if we keep referring back to, you know, why might you want Prime? Yeah. Obviously with Core, you've got five switches. So let's say you've got a, um, a patch like this one, which has got maybe eight or nine different pedals mm. on it. You've got to elect which switch turns off which pedal. Yeah. You can have a single switch will turn off multiple pedals if you want to, but you know there is a constraint around somehow setting your thing up with five pedals. If you literally want to be able to turn on and off up to 12 different pedals from switches, then obviously you need to go to yeah. the bigger unit. And, and Prime is really cool because you can set two of the buttons to basically bank up and down. Yeah. The rest of them can just be whatever you want. Well, that was going back to your, if you go back to this mode yeah. uh, thing, so that we'll was, back, we'll I thought was, hybrid. yeah, I thought was clever. So stomp, Ooh. hybrid, and you know, this concept of stomp being just pedals on and off, mm. rig being switching patches like yeah. you would traditionally do, and hybrid being both of those things. Yeah. So some of the buttons will go up and down through your rigs and other button, you know, you might have always three pedals, you know, you always want to turn on and off your delay or you always want to turn on and off your drive, but otherwise you want to do patches. But Really, really cool. The other stuff, visually, I know most of its competitors are using much simpler looking um, icons to say yeah. whether or not you're turning a reverb on and off. Headrush gives you, you know, a copy. Of, you know, obviously we know this yellow pedal here is clearly trying to be a, a, a Boss yeah, SD1. SD1 yeah. So it looks like one. It's, as a guitar player, it's Boss super pedal. familiar. Yeah. You know, silly things like if I just want to say, actually, I'd rather have the drive pedal here, mm -hmm. or I'd rather have the drive pedal here, or whatever. Um, you can. So if you add going into that, if we go, uh, so we're going to go for the round fuzz, right? And it's just the uh, yeah. Again, turning them on and off. You turn really it. Simple, you you yeah. just hit it on and so off. So you kind of hit the you hit the bottom, and it will turn it on. And then if you double tap, yeah, oh wow, top, okay. you go into like a more advanced screen. It's really, really been designed to be touchscreen friendly. So I think, again, if, you're, if you haven't seen the Prime video that Pete and I did, and you're sort of going, oh wow, I'd love to know a bit more about how this is putting together. It's just easier to go and watch the Prime video because mm -hmm. Pete build our own sounds, we do amp captures, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, you can see in here that, you know, Nate's 
a, this is a, a really typical rig. So you've got some pedals that are going before the amplifier, you've got your amp and speaker here, yeah. and you've got some pedals that are after the amp, or some effects, sorry, that are after the amplifier. Again, we've got this set up to assume that the whole thing is just running a guitar. There's other modes where you'll see the top line will have guitar stuff, the bottom line will have vocal stuff. Yeah, so... Are you going to try and find one? Yeah, we can, we can discard that. We've got a new setup. Click the little arrow there. And then these are basically your different yeah. ways of setting the signal path. So this is kind of my simple, yeah. literally it's you like place one anything where you pedals. want. Yeah, yeah. put Easy it wherever peasy. you want. Yeah. This is kind of, if you want to do parallel stuff, so. Multiple amp setups, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And then you want um, sort of like effects chain sort of, things that you can have delays coming in through the yep. effects chain rather than in front of the amp. Two guitars, oh, so yeah. you can have... Or a guitar and a bass or something yeah. like that, or two guitar players if yeah. they want to. 100%. Then we've got vocals down here, so if, if, so if you're just going to be... I'm a singer that wants a really, really wicked tool to be able to do shows, practice, but not just kind of rely on the front of house guy, mm. sound guy, to, to make you sound good. You can basically use this as a pedal for you to um, set up your songs as you want with your vocal, your vocal change, your vocal effects, and it's really cool. And then this is the other cool thing. So now we've got split. So right, little microphone here, so yeah. that's how you change that's your... That's your path out, yeah. yeah. And then you've got your guitar. So if you're a duo or you're just a solo guitar vocalist, you can now do everything like that. I think before we get on to looking at some of the other functionality, we've talked a lot, we might as well hear some more stuff. So why don't we uh, show how you selected a track from here. We'll use that cleaner track maybe. We'll yeah. find another rig that's maybe a, a more appropriate guitar sound. Mm -hmm. We'll just play a bit more. Yeah, so you're gonna go here to practice tool. It will load, we've already got the track loaded, but let's get rid of it. Literally just press add. So you can store stuff internally. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't wanna, yeah. If you don't have a stick, you can just load your whole set on, on the unit as well. So I go there. I think I named it tracks because that seemed obvious at the time. You can see the Dropbox thing here, which, yeah. is, which is nuts. Yeah. We haven't attached this to the Wi-Fi, which is what the little red cross means. But yeah, we could do. Yeah. So yeah, find, where was that clean one that you had sort of at That's the beginning? This one, so we can just hit load. And ima imagine this is potentially what you would do as if you were out doing your set. So you can see the load time for a new track is super fast. Yeah. So um, we'll just jump out quickly and just load that patch that we're talking about. The funk back on. Right, practice tool, tracks there. Again, you can start, although I think, I think it's fair to say that you probably can't load in new tracks from the foot switches. You can certainly start and stop tracks from the from the foot switch here. You can even see as well if you, this is more the practice element rather than yeah. the duo solo type thing, but you can you can cut um, sections of tracks out, yeah. loop them around so they play over and over again, manipulate the speed, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's have a little to listen to this. I just, yeah, I just, I was intrigued as to what amp you'd used in, in the modeling there. And I noticed it's one of the Revalver ones, which I don't think we talked about in, in Prime, but Revalver is another company that, that yes. um, in Music Own, which is sort of, you know, their version of, I suppose, um, Bias or whatever, you know, yeah. it's like, it's where that, it's their amp modeling company and, and all of the amps within Revalver are in yeah, here and they've, as well. Yeah, there's there's a load. So again, if we, let's say we wanted to quickly demonstrate how you bring a Revalver up. You add, you go to amp. This is all the head rush sort of stock stuff and this is all the Revalver amps and you just scroll through. And there's, yeah, there's so many wicked ones. This Buddha's wicked. There. Yeah. 
go through, do the same thing, go cab. I'm pretty sure when we did a prime, there's a mode in the operate in the sort of global settings that says always load Match the, the yeah. matching yeah, cab exactly. for it. But in this particular instance, perhaps we've got that feature switched off. So yeah, you're, you're yeah. manually adding. A yeah, cab. and just to showcase, you know, how easy it is, go to revolver. We added the Buddha, so you know that you're in this family, yeah. and you can just choose. So. Captain's yeah, I mean, choice. Whatever, I mean, uh, 212 close back. You, you may have even seen on that menu as well, of course, you've got the function to add in all of your IRs as yeah, well. Yeah, there's, so. there's a load of IRs in there as well, which are wicked. I have to have some reverb. Can't play without reverb. <laughs> I haven't used Prime for months and I'm already kind of remembering how easy it is to sort of get you know where you want to go and change the different settings on the amp. Anyway, what you've seen so far, you're going, oh, that's interesting, but they didn't talk about X. Remember that, again, in the links below, you'll find the video back to the Prime uh, stuff, so you better do that. So I, I want to kind of move now on to very much talking about this idea of using it with a singer, because mm -hmm. we didn't cover that at all. Should we bring Elise in now? Yeah, let's do it. Come on then. Come in, Elise. We'll get your chair. We've set up some tracks here for Nate and Elise. Um, Elise, you can go. Uh, we'll put their Instagram uh, kind of links on the screen now. Elise is a, you know, a session singer, um, lots of career credits, uh, and has basically had about five minutes notice of doing today's <laughs> demo. So, uh, and it's, to be honest, I was going to say we should cut you some slack. But we don't need to because it sounds awesome. Um, so Elise's uh, track is across the top. And actually some of the effects here I've grayed out, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch them on whilst uh, she's singing. Um, exactly the same way that we showed you how you could assign guitar pedals to come on and off from the foot switch, you just could absolutely set this up to assign. So if you only wanted the harmony to come on, you know, controlled by a foot switch, you could do that, it's fine. But I'm gonna do it manually from here. So Elise has got, what even is this? We've got a noise, right, so we've got a gate, we've got auto-tune, we've got a harmonizer, we've got a doubler, some compression, some reverb, and some EQ. Uh, the um, gate, the compressor, the reverb and the EQ are always on and it's just the, those three effects here I'm going to switch off. on. Okay. That would be on. That's true. So we'll yeah. we'll, leave, we'll leave, it's not that noisy yeah, is it? Nah, we'll leave the gate well. off. And then Nate's rig, uh, which is the one along the bottom here, is a, a compressor pedal, uh, um, like a tube screamer overdrive, into a Fender Deluxe amplifier, a little bit of EQ, a little bit of uh, delay and reverb as well. The track Bonus points if you recognize it. It's like a, this is one that I think you've sort of put together. Salvation, it's your sort of yeah. take on a classic old Britney Spears tune. Um, and again, that's coming, that's loaded in. So imagine this is, this is a gig basically. It's a free gig for you. Um, <laughs> enjoy. So we're gonna go to the practice tool, the start the track, and yeah. then I'll go back to the rig and you'll see what I'm doing. So how much is this by the way, Nate? Do we even know? I've got no idea. <laughs> I vaguely remember it's about 700, 700 yeah, to 800 that was about a, that. a grand, wasn't it? Yes, Prime is a grand. Anyway, there's another reason for you to dive on over to the links and find out. So here we go. Baby, can't you see I'm calling? A guy like you should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm falling There's no escape I can't wait I need a help Baby, give me it It's dangerous I'm falling Too hot, can't come down It's in the air and it's all around Do you feel me now? 
Hi guys, so, so Lee's gone, so it's just gonna be me and Elise now, and we're just gonna show you how you can make use of the Antares Auto-Tune and a plethora of really good vocal effects. And plethora is my triple letter word score for today, so thank you. So, click there, it goes to vocal, and then you're gonna just hey, hey, click hey, on hey. Auto-Tune, as you can hear. What's the point in driving the whole night through If every road don't lead to you oh very t pain very t pain Ooh, hey, hey. when you've got the tune speed kind of really low that's when you're going to be in the hey, hey, hey. robot kind of era yeah what's the point in driving the whole night through and then as you turn it up if every road don't lead to you it's not as noticeable so it's very subtle and it's kind of just mimicking what you would do in sort of studio in a session mm -hmm. Um, we'll come out. Let's add vocal again. Would you like a? Uh, what about? Has it got some reverb in there? Can you yeah. give me something nice to uh, kind of warm some. it up a bit? So the air verb is wicked and hey, Dean's hey, choice. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. Let's try ambient. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. I mean, that's <laughs> that is ambient. What else Oops. is that? So we're gonna go back. Hey, down hey. the mix down. Oh, won't down. you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Make that a little bit more. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Hey, hey. That's nice. That's nice. Let's then, should we go for some delay? Mm hmm Oh, fudged it. We're gonna go delay. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Feedback down a little bit as well. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Yeah, and then would you like to have some backing singers? <laughs> Always. So we're going to add the four part. You. enjoying that. Yeah, and then we go again, <laughs> same line. You, you. And again. You, you. Oh, that was great. I think that's my favourite part. Yeah. Favourite part of the whole thing. Okay, let's double you up. Yeah, so you're doubled up. One, two, hey. So it's a little bit more subtle, but your, vo your vocal is now... Thickened up. Yeah, mm -hmm. so go again. Hey, hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. Change from default, go again. Baby, baby, when I look at you. Hey, hey, hey. I get a warm feeling inside. Slap back. There's something about the things you do that keeps me satisfied. So yeah, guys, so these, these are some of the amazing vocal effects. What um, me and Elise are going to do now, we're going to go back to a patch, lovingly named. We're going to discard the changes we made there. Um, so we've got guitar set up there at the bottom and then we've got Elise's vocal chain at the top and we're just going to do a very impromptu a jam. jam on a song of your choice. And I'm going to pretend like I hope that I know it. Right, here we go. Feel for you 